road tripping, boondocking. RVing is a way of life that's bigger than ever. COVID-19 shook the travel industry, helping to propel RV dealers to a record year so far. What's the allure for consumers? They just want to get out of here. They want to be in control of where they're going and how they're doing it. Hello, Fuller RV. Sherry Fuller of Fuller RV in Boylston has been in the okay. business since 1984. It is crazy. The phone doesn't stop ringing. We are booking five to 10 rentals a day. After the 17th. Hold on one second. In this first six months of this year, we've sold 21 units, which is usually two years worth. Post-COVID, rentals are up in a lot of cases 1,500%. Dealer revenues are up almost 100% over last year's numbers. Bob Sagami is executive director of the New England RV Dealers Association. He says nearly half of new sales are to first-time campers. And the big challenge for our dealers right now is they're concerned that they won't be able to get enough inventory, new inventory, to replace what they're selling. Wow, this thing is huge. I know. Wait until we put the slides in. RVs come in all sizes and styles. Take a look at this. This one is a Class A luxury motorhome. It rents for 6200 a week and costs just over two hundred grand. For a luxury motorhome, you can have a residential refrigerator, you can have the fireplace, this has a washer dryer, but you have two full bathrooms. This will accommodate seven. Extra features mean extra care and maintenance. The RV is more like a house than it is a car. It's got plumbing, it's got electricity, it's got heating. You're driving it down the highway at 65 miles an hour. A surprising fact, no special license is required to drive an RV. Zagami recommends taking a few lessons from a commercial driver's license instructor. Fuller gives newbies an extended crash course before they leave her lot. The most intimidating RV to handle? The one we're in. What does it feel like to drive one of these things? It's an hour of white knuckle driving. Oh! The first hour oh. you white knuckle. It's a whole different ball game. Just concentrate on the road. Okay. Here we go. Wow, this is like an obstacle course. It's an excellent obstacle course. If you can make it through here without hitting a curb, you're doing good. Oh my goodness. What's your number one tip? Tail swing. It has a six foot tail swing. So when you're taking a, a turn, you've got to be like a trailer truck. You're going wide and people will curb the tires. Now we're in the S's, so you gotta watch it. Okay. <laughs> you slam those brakes on and we go flying. Okay. So slow and easy. Everyone got their seatbelts on. These tires are soft on the sides, and if you rub them once, you could get away with it. You rub it twice, it's going to blow out on you, and you do not want that. Okay, you're going good. You're missing that. Yep, that's good. That's one that the buses all run over. A few three-point turns later, and I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Sherry, that was so much fun. I loved it. You did great. You handled those three-point turns like a pro. You think we're ready for the open road? Slow and easy. Once you have the RV, where do you go? It doesn't have to be far. Just get out of your neighborhood and go to a local campground. That's just as enjoyable as if you drove 1,500 miles to go see Yellowstone National Park. That's exactly what Brett Poirier did. He and his family are regulars at Normandy Farms Campground in Foxborough, even though they live just 10 minutes away in North Attleboro. We wanted to be outside and away from the iPads and the TVs and spend a lot of time as a family and, uh, and this worked for us. It's been a wonderful experience. Normandy Farms is known for its fancier amenities, which include ball fields, a track for remote controlled cars, as well as bike and dog parks. My daughter learned to ride her bike here. Both kids learned to swim here. Those are some special moments. We have a fishing pond that we stock with fish for catch and release fishing. We have four swimming pools, a 20,000 square foot recreation lodge. Manager Christine Daniels says these 100 acres have 400 campsites. Most of them have hookups to water, sewer, electricity, and cable. We actually started as a farm back in 1759. Back in the 60s, we started to convert into a campground. Campers can also stay here in safari tents. 
a more deluxe experience, we're talking air conditioning. Real plumbing can be found in these cabins and yurts. Just the nature of camping really kind of unites people. Obviously, during this uh, time, it's a little bit challenging because everyone's trying to maintain um, social distancing. But with that, I think people still have the social aspect and it's a nice atmosphere to have on vacation. After all, RV does stand for recreational vehicle. Nobody buys an RV just to have an RV. They buy an RV to do something with it. Normandy Farms is open for registered guests, but is limiting the number of visitors. And back to Fuller RV, they tell us business is still booming after that huge burst of interest they saw last year. In fact, there are delays in buying RVs from their usual manufacturer, so they've even turned to buying RV units from listings on Facebook. They tell us they are selling about 25 RVs per week. Up next, the beauty of barbecue.